you, buddy. Jeff, I'm James Holius of Coleus. I hope everyone's summer's going well. It goes too fast, especially you get a little older. Time flies like this. It's been a uh, it's been a very long summer. Uh, I've had personally, I've had a lot going on this year. Um, I know you're here for Coleus, not crying on your shoulder, but uh, it just seemed this year was very busy. I did pretty well this year with the Coleus. Um, I finished up my Coleus um, sale, my farmer's market, uh, the Bayhead farmer's market. Did very well this year. I think a lot of people, it was sporadic, but the weather was beautiful. One thing about the Bayhead area um, this year especially, it was inland. Just a few miles in, the rest of New Jersey, there were weeks where it was in the 90s, really hot, humid, and by the Bayhead Farmer's Market, which is just a block from the beach, it, even on the warmest days that were in the 80s, we had this cool ocean breeze that was beautiful, and here you can hear my neighbors enjoying their pool, so summer's not over yet. Uh, we got, it's been cool. The past few nights have been really cool in the 50s. So it's almost, I almost lost sight of summer, uh, but uh, we got a, a warm trend coming up. It's gonna be in the, 80, in the 80s. Uh, so the coleus, by no means, the enjoyment of coleus, by no means is over, is not over. And I try to um, relay that to people um, at the farmer's market. It's gonna, it can be difficult to sell coleus um, in a frost zone like New Jersey because people think, oh my God, I'm gonna waste money on a plant, especially these big ones, and they're not gonna be around and so forth. But that's why I grow some of the small ones so people can bring them indoors and not everybody knows that coleus can be brought indoors. So anyway, uh, a long summer with my son uh, being in Italy. I was a little, uh, I was very happy with nervous, of course, having my, uh, my teenage son in Italy. Uh, half a world away although it, he's home safe and sound an incredible experience an incredible opportunity for him as a, a chef as, as a culinary student so he's back to work working hard happy to be back in the united states uh, other things i uh, my oldest aunt my father's youngest sister the last of the mohegans she's in her 90s uh she lived uh, she lived in New York City uh, on the outskirts of in Queens, and she was assaulted, uh, robbed of her Social Security. Um, so we are now taking care of her. We had to, after months in the hospital, we had to take her from New York to New Jersey, uh, get her back on her feet, and move her to uh, an assisted living place near us, so we can keep, so we can keep better care for her. Queens has. Uh, it was one of the boroughs in New York City that really got hit with the um, the illegals that were being bust in, and he just destroyed her her uh, her, her her town, um, and it was terrible. So anyway, enough of that. Didn't want to get into politics, but uh, it, it's quite an ordeal taking care of an elderly uh, person who's very independent. <laughs> so it takes a lot of time. It's really like having a second child, but that's fine. Uh, we love our aunt Jeanette, as you can see here. She's uh, she's 90, still with it, very independent, bounced back, and she's on her way, although she misses her home. So anyway, here we are. I'm reluctant. I'm reluctant to say end of summer because, uh, but you know, in another week or so, the kids will go back to school and so forth. So what I'm going to touch on today are two things that I'm going to start focusing on, and um, that is seed socks and and rootings and this is the time of year that I do a little of both um, seed stalks I'm going to show you real quick if you're, if you're not familiar with seed stalks and colia seed stalks are these little uh, stalks, they're exactly that, stalks, and you can see the little, those little lilac uh, colored uh, flowers, those attract pollinators and so forth. So if you're interested in harvesting your own seeds, then by all means, follow along here, I'm going to show you how. And, but if you're not, as you see these seeds, as you see the seed stalks develop, 
as you see your seed stalk develop and you're not interested in harvesting your own seeds and just pick them off and that'll keep your coleus um, thriving because uh, seed stalks again will, will take away all the energy the plant needs to otherwise grow and develop new new shoots and roots and stems and stuff the seed stalks take a lot of nutrition away so uh, by all means pick off uh, there's that debate I read this in here are are seed stalks part of the coleus the enjoyment of coleus so there's by all means some people really love the little the little um, the little lilac colored flowers so so if you do like them it's okay to let a few develop but don't let your plant get overrun because that's going to develop your, your, your plant's going to start to lose color vibrancy is not going to grow as fast it's just going to look run down because seed stalk development triggers is a trigger to the plant saying it's time to uh, to wind down and redevelop and make new plants although I've had coleus like the mosaics that immediately went to saw a seed so some coleus don't go to seed some do very quickly like the mosaics others may take some time uh, this year my Saturn's rings and my Saturn plants my older one especially exploded with seed stalks and I had so much uh, I have so many seeds to this, and this is actually one that I grew from seed. So uh, plenty of, of Saturn's rings and Saturn's, this type of coleus, I'll have plenty of those seeds. Um, okay. um, getting back to, and I'm gonna touch on this, I'm gonna show you, uh, getting back to seed stalks. If you're interested in harvesting your own seeds, um, when are the seeds mature? Because you don't wanna just pluck the seed stalk. You need to let them develop, get pollinated. You need them, the seeds to mature. And how best to do that is, I generally allow my seed stalks to stay on the plant for at least a month, month and a half, two months perhaps. But the best way is to let, to wait until it starts to brown a little bit. You may still have flowers, so don't go by that. But the best way is, is to make sure to, to know your plant and say, hey, I know these seed stalks have been on here at least a month and they start to brown like this. And you can actually see all the seeds. See, I, I kind of can see the, the little, see the dark round little seed pods there. Those, this seed stalk has hundreds of very mature seeds. So you know that this is the time to cut this seed stalk and let it dry out. And that's what I'm gonna get on to next is once you do cut your seed stalks, how is it, how do you harvest your seeds? And I'm gonna get that to you, I'm gonna get to that next. I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna show you that now. Okay, uh, now this is my system. You can do whatever, it depends on how many coleus you have how many varieties you have and whether or not you want to separate your varieties like i do um but if you don't care or whatever you want to mix them up uh it doesn't matter but uh, basically what i do is as i go through my plants in my yard and i see that a seed stalk is is brown or i know because i because i do know my plants i know that seed stalk's been on for over a month well over a month or particularly as I showed you before that started to brown a little bit I know it's time to pick I do that and then I place them in either trays Tupperware whatever you want plates it depends again on how many coleus stalks and seeds you're gonna be collecting I collect a lot because of my Jim's coleus seed listing which will be coming up active at the end of September I'm going to shoot for the mid-September, but more than likely the end of September. So uh, save my uh, eBay listing, Jim's Coleus on eBay. I think I have a shirt listed. Just look it up, Jim's Coleus. And just um, here's, I'll put a link in this, uh, this video. Um, and just save that. And once the listing goes active, I will notify everybody here on um, YouTube that my listing is active. But... When, when, I, when I cut my seed stalks, I bring them indoors 
and they have to dry out. And I let them co completely dry out for a good month until they're completely brittle. And you can tell the difference between coleus seeds that are dried out and ones that I just picked. You can see the green, these I just picked. And you see it's actually got a little brown, so I knew that this one was ready to go. So I need to let it get completely brown like this so the seeds pop out. Now, you can see there's a lot of uh, brown. These are all ready to be separated. You can actually see the seeds fall out. You just kind of just play with this stalk a little bit and you'll see the seeds fall out. Uh, I have a little system that I do with a kitchen wire colander that I kind of shake the seeds and then they drop onto a white paper plate and I separate them because some of the chaff will mix. So we want to get as many just plain seeds, but you can see the seeds there. And that's why you need to let your seed stalks completely dry out. The drier and more brittle they are, the more easily the seeds will fall out. You can see this one I have, this is a Scarlet's, Scarlet Reds. There's a whole bunch of seed stalks in here. And you can see, just by doing that, you can see all the seeds falling out all around. Literally look just like poppy seeds. Uh, same thing here. And here's a, a mixture. These are like surprise mix. I just mix all different coleus in there together. And then when you when I do have my coleus listing, you're going to have a surprise list of coleus seeds. So you never know what's going to be uh, growing. They'll be mixed in, uh, cross-pollinated, so you never know what kind of coleus. And that's really exciting because uh, really, really beautiful things happen when coleus get cross-pollinated. You get some really interesting changes, colors, patterns. It's exciting. It's probably more exciting than, um, you know, just, you know, growing the specific variety, which I also have. So if you're interested in getting mosaics, I have tons of mosaics. And again, same thing. These are really dry. Uh, and I will be, sh I'll be separating these shortly. I will be separating these shortly. Again, I use white paper plates and a uh, kitchen colander um, for separating the coleus seeds from the seed uh, stalk. Okay, so just a quick example. Here we are, kitchen strainer. You can get these anywhere. Paper plate. I like to use the white paper plate, obviously, because uh, I'll zoom in. The white, um, the little round black coleus seeds will really be easy to pick out. So what I like to do is I, I kind of just make, and again, make sure your your seed stalk is completely, completely dry and just gently tap the seed stalk and you'll see tons of coleus seeds. And that's how you separate your coleus seeds from the seed stalks. And again, I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat this. Um, dry your coleus seed stalks out completely. The drier they are, the easier it is to get your seeds to just fall out of the stalk with minimal amount of seed shape. Very very easy. Okay, so um, I'm separating. Um, you'll get some uh, Kongs. These are Empires. Um, Kong Reds, Empire Kongs. Um, I'll have some Mosaics. And also Christmas Candy, which are similar. Um, these are more Christmas Candies. They have a little more of a reddish color. And then I'll have some Mosaics also, my seed listing. I'll have a... a a couple of varieties of these jitters which are more they may be green like this or they may be a darker color some of them may have a darker purple but they'll have a long elongated thin um, leaf which is really great for hanging baskets 
and I'll have these. I separated these, and I'm, I hope I have these seeds listed. These are I'm going to call these sort of like a colossal um, jitters. They have um, a jitters, elongated jitters leaf, but they have some kong, almost like I don't want to say kong, but they have sort of like a reddish white mix in. So I'm going to have a bunch of these seeds also on my uh, coleus listing. Now, this is a perfect example. This plant I let completely go to seed. So you can see it's not, the leaves were much more vibrant and beautiful, but because I have so many seeds stalks developing here, it's taken away from the rest of the plant. So this is a perfect example of if you let your coleus completely go to seed, what it does to the plant itself. So uh, I got a lot of seed stalks here. They're not ready to go yet. These are close. You see the seeds developing, but I'm going to let these stay on a few more weeks. And I, I come out here every day and kind of look them over. And uh, there's a few that, that look like they're ready to go. They're sort of browning. Uh, but we're letting them go, letting them stay on a little longer. Uh, but these, most of these are pretty much ready to go. Uh, to be harvested and then they still have to dry out again of course I'll have some uh, Saturn's rings and Saturn's um, seeds and here are some uh, Christmas candies again here's another example of that jitters what I was telling you about some of them may be a little darker they may be more they may have a darker purple or darker green as opposed to this lighter one and that's the excitement of it that's what's so exciting about coleus and just before we close I'm going to show just showcase a couple of my planters these are really beautiful I I don't think I'll have any seeds from these here uh, they haven't really gone to seed, so I have a number. I do have some seeds for myself, uh, but I don't believe I'll have these on my listing. I, I will let you know, but these are real beautiful. And Sherry, here's your mariposa. So um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to bring this indoors, but what I will do is take a number of cuttings and bring them indoors or I may bring this whole plant in I don't know how it'll do uh, but Sherry it looks really really good it probably needs more of a trimming uh, no seeds yet so uh, looks good and there are some Empire Kongs I'll have Empire uh, I'll try to have Empire Kong seeds if not I'll mix them in with my surprise uh, seeds but these are Empire Kongs. Now, way on the other end of my property, I have this giant Defiance. And I have a whole bunch of... Uh, this has gone to seed very late. So, uh, we still have some... Uh, I do... I will have some... I have a limited amount of Defiance seeds. But again, see, you see what I mean? If you let your plant go to seed, how it just takes away from the beauty of the plant. It starts to get less vibrant. Um, although I still have a lot of new growth coming in. Um, but we're letting it go to seed. Very small seed stalks. Which means it's going to be a little difficult to separate the seeds. But we do have seeds. And here we are. This is uh, a Saturn variation. I'll have a ton of these seeds. A ton of these. And this was the mother plant from last year. And it went to seed very, very quickly. So I have a whole bunch of seeds. It's all alone. There's no other coleus near here. No other seeds. To get cross pollinated so we'll have pretty uh, true to this plant seeds available 
on my Jim's Coleus listing. But again, you see, uh, got some pollinators going on. I just picked a few of these yesterday. Here is an example. This needs to be picked. So we're going to do that now. You can actually see the seeds almost. But it's been on that. Now the top I'm going to do is cut that first. The four segments on the top because those are newer. They're not going to be quite as mature. But these seeds on the bottom, they're plentiful. Uh, even though it still has, uh, has the flowers, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not mature. You know, this has been on for a while. And it is starting to brown a little bit. So we're gonna, I picked it. Stay tuned, more to come here, Jim's Holius Acolius. I'll be doing uh, some cuttings. I'll be cutting uh, some of that um, Lord Voldemort. Uh, some fishnets, I'll probably cut a few fishnets. I may cut some of uh, Sherry's Mariposa uh, to keep uh, for the fall and winter uh, into spring, and then we'll uh, do it again and plant them next year. So stay tuned more for that more more of that to come. You you can keep your coleus, uh, you can keep rootings cuttings for months on end. Uh, I do it year after year. It's how I uh, if you're following along, you know I keep my uh, Lord Voldemort's going year after year that way because I can't get seeds from it. So uh, stay tuned. I'll be showing you as I cut my I choose and cut my rootings. So stay tuned. More to come here, Jim's holiest coleus. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your summer.